In this lecture, I will explain transistor saturation. The transistor is said to be saturated when the collector current IC is larger than or equal to the maximum collector current for the particular design. Let's say the maximum collector current is IC max and we have the saturation condition when the collector current is greater than or equal to IC max and in this condition the collector current is represented by IC set representing the collector current in saturation condition. We try to avoid the saturation conditions because in saturation region the collector base junction is forward biased and there is distortion in the amplified signal. We are trying to amplify the weak input signal using transistor and for this purpose transistor must operate in the active region. Transistor must operate in the active region and in active region the collector base junction is reverse biased and the emitter base junction is forward biased. But in saturation region the collector base junction will forward bias and the emitter base junction is already forward bias so the resistance offered the resistance offered is nearly equal to zero that we will try to see by the help of this output characteristics this is the output characteristics of common emitter transistor and we already know this region is the active region and the region on the left hand side of this green line is saturation region and the region below the base current IB equal to zero is cutoff region cutoff region and as collector current is larger than or equal to the maximum collector current the transistor will operate in the saturation region this means the operating point or the Q point is in the saturation region like this and if we consider if we consider the approximate curves then it will look something like this and you can clearly see the collector current IC is relatively high and VCE is zero the collector current IC that is IC set is relatively high and VCE is equal to zero now we will try to find out the resistance and for this I will use the Ohm's law we know IC set multiplied with RCE is equal to VCE we want to find out resistance RCE so RCE is equal to 0 volts because VCE is equal to 0 volts by IC set so simply the resistance is equal to 0 ohms this means there is no resistance between the collector and emitter terminals and we can short circuit we can short circuit the two terminals now we know what actually happens when transistor operates in the saturation region the relatively high collector current is there and VCE is equal to 0 volts and because of this collector and emitter terminals are short circuited now we can easily find out the saturation condition for the fixed bias configuration saturation saturation condition for the fixed bias configuration fixed bias configuration first we will draw the circuit of fixed bias configuration then we will find out the collector current in saturation region and as the collector current the collector current IC is equal to is equal to the maximum collector current IC max the transistor is operating in the saturation region and the collector emitter terminals are short circuited now we will calculate the value of IC set by applying KVL in the output loop we have VCC minus ICRC IC RC IC is IC set equal to zero and from this equation you can see IC set is equal to VCC divided by resistance RC so this is the condition for saturation in case of fixed bias configuration 
the next thing is condition for saturation in case of emitter bias configuration in case of emitter bias configuration and again we will do the same thing the collector current the collector current is equal to the maximum collector current so we have IC set and we will draw the circuit of emitter bias configuration in case of emitter bias configuration we have emitter resistance RE and the transistor is operating in saturation region so the collector emitter terminals are short circuited and when we apply KVL in the output loop we have the equation VCC minus IC set RC minus I E R E equal to 0 and we know I E is nearly equal to I C or we can say I E is nearly equal to I C set we have V C C minus I C set inside the bracket R C plus R E equal to 0 and from this equation IC set is equal to VCC divided by resistance RC plus resistance RE so this is what you need to do in emitter bias configuration now there is one homework problem in this homework problem you need to find out the condition for saturation that is IC set for the collector feedback bias for the collector feedback bias and for the voltage divided bias for voltage divider bias once you have your answers post them in comment section i will end this lecture here see you in the next one